So, a couple of meetings today in Belfast, and some new stuff for next year, work-wise. And then uh, I have a few photographs that I want to go take, just for me. Oh, and a, a street artist. I've done that thing I do every year. I have this impeccable skill of completely missing everything that happens in autumn. I don't know how I do it. Every year passes me, and only at the end of autumn I'm like, oh, we should do it, and then the leaves disappear. Gone. Everything's gone. I'm gonna go in the Custom House Square somewhere that I've never, never been into. I must just be inside this building. I assume this was some sort of government thing. Right. Meeting one done. I'm actually half an hour <laughs> between meetings. So I'm, I'll be late for the next one even though it's literally around the corner. As a freelancer, I always try to wind stuff down in December. I like a good period of time off over Christmas. I don't like coming back in to January too quickly. And generally, a lot of people are off that time of the year. When I started working freelance, I used to think, oh, I can take off time when everyone's at work. And that'll be class. Everyone will be working while I'm off doing other stuff. But there's a, there's a twist to that. There are times when it's better to be off when everybody else is off. And Christmas is a great time for that because a lot of businesses wind down, a lot of businesses shut. There's a lot of space to do your own stuff and there's not a lot of expectations. No one's emailing, no one's really contacting, there's no one chasing you on, on jobs and work. So it's a good time to be off with a bit of peace and quiet. This is one of the coolest little spots in Belfast, right? Because, and this never used to be like this, but you see that building there? The sun's at the other side of that building but it hits the big glass building over there, River House, and then it rebounds up onto all of those buildings there. So you get all this sort of weird light reflecting off these. I'll show you what I mean now. Sun beams through, hits all these buildings on the glass and it reflects onto, uh, onto those ones. Right, this building is called Phantom House. It's, um, well, well, look at it. It's horrible. It's a grotesque building. But it's also fascinating. Just because of it's like, well, all the lines coming down and all that sort of stuff. It's got that sort of bomb-proof Belfast vibe about it. I've always found it fascinating that it sits just in the background of this Go Garage. And the Go Garage always looks like if you're a kid of the 80s, 90s, and you used to get Lego. Back then, there was Spacemen, and then they branched out into, uh, like petrol stations, those are the toys you have. And that go garage has always kind of reminded me a little bit of a petrol, the petrol station Lego kits you used to get as a child. One of the reasons I came up this road was for this building here across the street. I wanted to get a photograph of this piece of art here. I was down here the other day and took a couple of photographs of this, all this new street art, just because I like it. And then I stuck it online and tagged all the artists that did it. And one of them was like, you didn't get a shot of the portrait on the side, did you? This but one I didn't get a shot of side on. I only had a three quarter shot. So I said, I'd, when I'm walking past again, I'd come past and take a photograph of it for them. This is on the corner of Stroud Street and Great Victoria Street. Great Victoria Station down there, that direction. And then Queens up that way. This was a big part of the punk scene in Belfast. And one of these, I'm assuming it's that one, down the corner there. This is where Terry Hooley, had the one of the one of the locations for the Good Vibrations record store, which would have been a big part of that scene. Like the undertones, you heard the undertones. I think he he signed the undertones as as artists back in the day. So like a lot of heritage here, and this is a real shit little dead part of town going down here. So it's like this cool little pop of color. The collective of artists that was commissioned by Daisy Chain Inc. And you've got like Alana McDowell, Zippy, Not Pop, Rob Hilkin. And then the one around the side was People. I think People is a collective of artists. So anyway, that's what I was there to do. This is a real nice time of day to be walking through the city. End of autumn, beginning of winter, low light, long shadows. I'm never here this time of day anymore. So I'm gonna try and get a few photographs while I meander.
done with Belfast today. I had my fix of it. I used to work in a city all the time and spend all my time walking around it and you sort of become accustomed to it. You're tuned to the same frequency. It's fucking, it's a weird, cities in general. They're just a weird place when you're not in them all the time. <laughs>